Today's Morning Minute, Authority, Day 34 of the Fraud Committed by Satan Against Man. Merriam-Webster defines fraud as follows, intentional perversion of truth in order to induce another to part with something of value or to surrender a legal right. Adam surrendered man's legal right of authority to Satan in the Garden of Eden. You have no authority unless you are under authority. Authority always comes from above a higher authority. Authority is a top-down process. To have authority, you must be under authority. Authority is an official legal right to act. You have no authority to stop a driver speeding through your neighborhood. However, a police officer has the authority to stop the driver. He has been given the authority by the police chief and local government over him. The police officer is a man under authority. He has authority given to him by the powers of authority over him. He has somebody who backs up his authority. The only way to have authority is to be under authority. And we read in Luke chapter 7, verses 6 and 7. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man of under authority with soldiers under me i tell this one go and he goes and that one come and he comes i say to my servant do this and he does it when jesus heard this he was amazed at him and turning the crowd following him he said i tell you i have not found such great faith even in israel then the men who have been sent returned to the house and found the servant well as a believer and follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, wash totally clean of your sin, you have all the authority of the King of Heaven. You are in Christ, and Christ is in you, sitting at the right hand of God the Father. You have authority over Satan. You have authority over fear, anger, bitterness, lack, worry, and injustice. You have authority over sin and death. You have authority over sickness and disease. You have the official right to act with all authority in heaven with your position in Christ. Your authority has been given to you in Jesus Christ. You've been crucified with Christ and raised with him. And we read in Matthew 28, 18 and 19. Then Jesus came close to them and said, all the authority of the universe has been given to me. Now go in my authority and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ legally and judicially restored you back to your legal family as a child of God in the image and likeness of God. You have all the legal rights and privileges as a son or daughter of God. You are blessed. You're designed to operate at the level of your father. You have life abundantly. You have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God living in you. Amen and amen.